While millions of Americans were enjoying Thanksgiving weekend with loved ones, health officials were sounding the alarm on a heavily mutated coronavirus variant emerging in South Africa. The World Health Organization announced Friday it had designated the new strain a variant of concern and named it Omicron. Not much is yet known about new variant but experts say it could take hold, causing infections to surge. Omicron's very emergence is another reminder that although many of us might think we are done with COVID-19, it is not done with us, said the WHO's Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. What is Omicron? The World Health Organization designated the B1.1.529 variant a variant of concern, Friday and named it Omicron after the 15th letter of the Greek alphabet. WHO uses the Greek alphabet as a variant classification system to simplify understanding and avoid stigmatizing countries where they're first identified. WHO says there's no evidence to suggest that symptoms linked to Omicron are different from those caused by other variants. Dr. Angelique Kutsi, a private practitioner and chair of South African Medical Association, was one of the first doctors in South Africa to detect the new variant. She told Reuters symptoms of the Omicron variant were very mild and could be treated at home. These infections were first reported in university students who were younger and tended to have milder disease. But like all coronavirus variants, WHO said, Omicron may be capable of causing severe disease or death, particularly among vulnerable populations. Symptoms of COVID-19 caused by any known coronavirus variant can include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, sore throat, a loss of taste or smell, sore and congestion or runny nose. A person in California became the first in the U.S. to have an identified case of the COVID-19 Omicron variant, the White House announced Wednesday as scientists continue to study the risks posed by the new strain of the virus. This is the first case of COVID-19 caused by the Omicron variant detected in the United States, Dr. Anthony Fauci said at the White House. He said the person was a traveler who returned from South Africa on November 22 and tested positive on November 29. The announcement of the first U.S. case comes before President Joe Biden plans to outline his strategy on Thursday to combat the virus over the winter. Biden has tried to quell alarm over the Omicron variant, saying it was a cause for concern but not a cause for panic. Biden and public health officials have grown more urgent in their pleas for more Americans to get vaccinated and for those who have been vaccinated to get booster shots to maximize their protection against the virus, according to Merriam-Webster, was first identified in South Africa last week. The U.S. began restricting travel from South Africa and several other countries Monday due to the latest variant of concern. South African scientists say Omicron may be behind the recent spike in COVID-19 infections in Gauteng, the country's most populous province. Portuguese health authorities identified 13 cases of Omicron Monday among members of a top soccer club. One of the players who tested positive had recently traveled to South Africa. Canada's health minister says the country's first two cases of Omicron were found in Ontario after two individuals who had recently travelled from Nigeria tested positive. The variant has also been detected in travellers to Belgium, Botswana, Hong Kong, Australia, and Israel. President Joe Biden said Omicron is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. It's not clear whether infection with Omicron causes more severe disease compared to infections with other variants, WHO said. However, preliminary data suggests that there are increasing rates of hospitalization in South Africa. It's also unclear how well the virus awaits immunity from previous infection or COVID-19 vaccines to cause a breakthrough infection. But even with so little information, health experts say people should be watchful. Americans should take this variant seriously, Swan said. Even if this one turns out to be not as bad as we fear, there will be another one that will. What makes Omicron different from other variants? Omicron appears to have about 30 mutations in on the coronavirus spike protein. Out of the approximately 30 mutations, 26 are unique to Omicron and don't appear in other variants of concern. According to Dr. Wayne Sondararajan, co-founder and chief medical officer at Enference, a data analytics firm in Massachusetts. In comparison, the Alpha variant has only 4 unique mutations, Beta has 6, Gamma has 8 and Delta has 7. I'm less concerned about the fact that these mutations exist and I'm more concerned about the fact that we know very little about many of them, Sondrarajan said a handful of Omicron's mutations that exist in other variants have been associated with previous surges of positive COVID-19 cases, he said. Some of these mutations are believed to increase transmissibility while others may help the virus evade immunity. Most of these mutations are clustered at the ACE2 receptor and antibody binding sites, Sondrarajan said, which are also sites targeted by the COVID-19 vaccines and antibodies. 
The most intriguing mutation is the INS214 EPE insertion, he said. This addition introduces three new amino acids corresponding to nine nucleotides to the virus's genetic profile. Do the COVID-19 vaccines protect against Omicron? Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's leading infectious disease expert, told Biden he believes existing vaccines are likely to provide a degree of protection against severe cases of COVID, reiterating that booster shots on top of full vaccination will provide stronger protection. However, other scientists say it will likely take weeks to sort out if the new variant is more infectious and if vaccines are still effective against it. COVID-19 vaccine developers with authorized shots in the U.S. Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson have all pledged to reformulate their shots to protect against Omicron, if needed, which may include an Omicron-specific booster. Preliminary evidence suggests there may be an increased risk of reinfection with Omicron compared to other variants of concern, according to WHO, but more information is needed. Biden urged the public to get fully vaccinated, and if eligible, to get a COVID-19 booster as soon as possible. Waning immunity in people who received their first shots more than six months ago may put them at risk of breakthrough infection. The CDC updated its guidance Monday afternoon, recommending that all adults 18 and older should get a booster shot either six months after their initial Pfizer-BioNTech or Moderna vaccine series or two months after their initial J&J &J vaccine. If you like my video please like share and subscribe.